Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to explain how to solve EJU Mathematics 2018 second session course 2 number 5, which comes from section 3. If you want to watch the solution of the first four questions, you can check on the description box below. Okay? In this question, we have a function f of x is equals to blah blah blah. Answer the following question. For g until k, choose the correct answer from among 0 until 5 below, and for the other box, enter the correct numbers. So, we have to remember that from g until k, g, h, i, j, and k, we have to choose the correct answer from 0 until 5. Since f prime x is equals to blah blah blah, so I think for this question, we have to find the derivative of f first. Since we already know the function of f of x is equals to this, so let's first derive the equation. If I have f of x is equals to blah blah blah, then the derivative of f of x is equals to x cubed. If we derive x cubed, it becomes 3x squared. And then minus 3a x squared. If we derive x squared, it becomes 2x. 2x times negative 3a, it equals to negative 6ax. And then the derivative of x is 1, 1 times this, it becomes negative 3, 2a plus 1. And then the derivative of a plus 2 is 0, since a plus 2 is a constant. If you see from this format, we can say that I think I have to factorize 3 from our expression. It will become 3 open bracket x square minus 2ax minus 2a plus 1. And then if I distribute the negative sign, I will get 3x square minus 2ax minus 2a minus 1. And then since we have to factorize this quadratic expression, so I want to see these two things first. I have x squared minus 1. If we factorize it, it will become x plus 1, x minus 1. x minus 1. And then for the other two expression, I can factorize negative 2a, it becomes x plus 1. And then as you can see in our expression, we have x plus 1 on both terms, so I can factorize x plus 1. It will become 3 open bracket x plus 1, and then the rest is x minus 1 minus a. If I simplify it, or I rearrange it, I will get 3x minus 2a minus 1, x plus 1. I think we already get a, b, c, and d. a is 3, and then b is 2, D is 1, and then D is 1. And then, we see that when A greater than blah blah blah, F of X is locally maximized, locally minimized, and so on. And at X equals to negative D, D is 1. And is H at X equals blah blah blah. So our objective or our goal is we want to find the maximum 
or minimum or increasing or decreasing range of f of x. Since I want to find the maximum, minimum, or increase or decrease, I think we can find by using number line. So first of all, I will draw number line here. From the first derivative of f, we can find two critical value of x. The first one is negative 1, and then the second one is 2a plus 1. This is the critical value of um, f prime x or derivative of x. I have negative 1 here. And then for 2a plus 1, the critical value of this factor is 2a plus 1. We still do not know where 2a plus 1 has to be placed. On the left side of negative 1 or right side of negative 1. So, since they tell us a greater than ef, so I think, first of all, we have to make 2a plus 1 greater than negative 1. So, we assume that our second critical value is on the right side of negative 1. So if I assume 2a plus 1, this is the second critical value, yeah, is greater than the first one. So I will get 2a is greater than negative 2, then a greater than negative 1. So for a greater than negative 1, then our ef is negative 1 here. f of x is blah 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 so if i put 2a plus 1 on this number line 2a plus 1 is on the right side of negative 1 so let's say this is 2a plus 1 and then we want to find that g is we have to choose yeah from number 0 until 5 here so to choose which one is correct Let's see from this number line. First of all, I have a quadratic equation here. And then the coefficient of x squared is positive. Since the coefficient of x squared positive, then this middle region should be negative. And then on the left and right side is positive. Remember that f prime x represents the gradient. If the gradient is positive, then our graph will be increasing. And then negative, that means it will decrease. And then positive, it, uh, it means it, always, it will be increased again. So, f of x is g at x equals to negative d, d is 1, d is 1. At negative 1, it will be locally maximized, increase, and then decrease. So at x equals negative 1, it will be locally maximized, because this is the maximum value. So our answer for G is locally maximized. So G is 0. N is H at X equals to B A plus C. Our B is 2, our C is 1. So this is 2 A plus 1. If you see from our number line, at 2 A plus 1, it will be locally minimized. Why? It's because negative means decreasing and then positive means increasing. So at A equals to A plus 1, it will be locally minimized. So for H, our answer is 1, locally minimized. And then when A equals EF, EF is negative 1 f of x is always blah 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 
we have to remember how we find EF in the previous question. If you see from our number line, I determine EF by think about the second critical value is on the right side of negative 1 or left side of negative 1. So, when A is equal to negative 1, that means our second critical value is exactly equal to negative 1. So, uh, my number line for uh, part II is something like this. This is negative 1, and then 2A plus 1, our second critical value, is also equals to negative 1, which is exactly at the same point. As you can see from this number line, we have to determine the sign on the left side and right side of negative 1. So I will assume, I will substitute x as 0. Remember, 2a plus 1 is negative 1. So this term can be written as x plus 1, x plus 1. As x equals to 0, 3 times 1 times 1 is positive. So when x equals to 0, at this region, the sign is positive. And then at the other region, I think it's also positive. How do I know it's also positive? Basically, we can simply see from the expression of f prime x. 3x plus 1, x plus 1. You have to remember, yeah, 2a plus 1 is negative 1. So it becomes x plus 1, x plus 1. So no matter what is the value of x, this expression is always positive. Since it's always positive, then f of x is always increasing. Remember, if it is positive, then it is an increasing function. And then positive again then it will always increasing. Then for i, my answer is increasing. And then, when a less than ef, ef is negative 1, that means our 2a plus 1 is on the left side of negative 1. If I draw another number line, this is negative 1, 2a plus 1 is on the left side of negative 1. At x equals to negative d, our d is 1. f of x is blah blah blah. Once again, we have to check the sign on these three regions. Remember that our first derivative the coefficient of x squared is positive. That means the sign on the middle region is negative. Positive, positive. Then at x equals negative 1, at x equals negative 1, it will be decreasing and then increasing. So x negative 1 is locally minimum. x negative 1 is locally minimum. Locally minimum or locally minimize is number number 1. And then at x equals b a plus c, b a plus c, our b is 2, c is 1. At 2 a plus 1, f of x is blah blah blah. If you see from this number line, positive means increasing and then negative means decreasing. Then at x equals to a plus 1, it will be locally maximized. Then my answer for k is 0. 
this is the first part of the question and then the second part is when we express the minimum value of m m is the minimum value of f of x over the range negative 1 until 1 inclusively in the terms of a we have that blah 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 so for the second questions here we want to find the minimum value of f of x the minimum value of f of x over the range negative 1 until 1 inclusively so i will start from our number line remember we have a number line here in our number line, I have two critical value, which is negative 1 and 2a plus 1. So if I draw my number line here, I have negative 1. And then I have the second critical value, which is 2a plus 1. But once again, we still do not know where is 2a plus 1. It can be at the left side of negative 1, or at the right side of negative 1, or since our range of x now until 1, let's say this is 1, 2a plus 1 can also be on the right side of 1. So we have three possibility for our second critical value. This is the first region or the first possibility. This is the second one and this is the third one. If you see from the question, they say that A is greater than or equals to L. So I think the first possibility here is 2A plus 1 is on the right side of 1 or exactly equals to 1. So for the first part, I think 2a plus 1 is greater than or equals to 1. It can be exactly at this point or at the right side of 1. Then 2a greater than or equals to 0, a equals uh, greater than or equals to 0. So I think when a greater than or equals to 0, then the minimum, remember, m is the minimum value. The minimum value of f of x is blah, blah, blah. Mm, if you see from this number line, 2a plus 1 is either at this point, exactly 1, or the right side of 1. So, if we check the sign, Remember, our first derivative, the coefficient of x square is positive. Then, the middle region between our two critical values should be negative. So, this part is negative. And then, this part is positive. This part is positive. We still do not know where is the value, where is the exact position of 2a plus 1. But, since our range is from one, uh, negative 1 until 1, so just focus on this region. As you can see, at this region, the sign is negative. That means at this region, the curve or our function is decreasing. Since it is decreasing, then the minimum value should be at the most right m. That means to find the minimum value, I will substitute x equals to 1. We have to remember, yeah, we only see the range negative 1 until 1. So just focus on this range. Since it is negative, then the graph will decreasing like this. Then the minimum value will be obtained at x equals to 1. So to find m, 
the minimum value of f of x, I will substitute 1 to our f of x. Our f of x is this. Net of x is equals to x cubed minus 3ax squared minus 3 to a plus 1x plus a plus 2. Substitute 1 to this expression, then we will get the minimum value for the first case. This is my f of x. And then I will substitute 1. one minus three a minus three times two a plus one plus a plus two if we simplify it i will get one minus three a minus six a minus three plus a plus two if you see one plus two is three three minus three is zero then our minimum value should be negative 3a, negative 6a, which is minus 9a plus a. That means negative 8a. So I think mn here is negative 8. And then when a is between op until l, l is 0 l is 0. What is OP? I think for the second um, question, we will think how about our second critical value is in this region. When A greater than or equals to 0, that means our critical value is either exactly at 1 or right side of 1. Then, for second part, our A is in this region. So, to find OP, I will think about our 2A plus 1 is equals to negative 1. A, uh, 2A plus 1 is equals to negative 1. If 2A plus 1 is equals to negative 1, then 2a is equals to negative 2, a negative 1. I think op is negative 1. So, if our second critical value is in this region, we have to find the minimum value of f of x. To make it more clear, I think I will draw another number line. Um, let's say this is my another number line. The range that we have to pay attention is negative 1 until 1 inclusively. This is negative 1, this is 1. And then our 2a plus 1 is either exactly at this point exactly at this point or at any point in this region. We still do not know where is the exact value or exact position of our 2a plus 1. So let's assume our 2a plus 1 is in here. Once again, since our f prime x the coefficient of x square of f prime x is positive, if you remember. So the sign between our critical value is negative. Our critical value is negative 1 and 2a plus 1. So this is negative and, oh sorry, negative, and then this is positive. It will, it will also positive here. Just pay attention in this region from negative 1 until 1. If you see from this region, 
my curve or my graph should be decreasing and then increasing. So to find the minimum value, the minimum value should be at x equals to a plus 1. Decreasing and then increasing at that region only. So our minimum value at x equals to a plus 1. So to find m, I will substitute x equals to 2a plus 1 to our expression. This is my f of x. And then I will substitute 2a plus 1 as x to find m. 2a plus 1 cubed minus 3a. 2a plus 1 square minus 3. 2a plus 1 times x is 2a plus 1 plus a plus 2. We have to expand this expression and then simplify it. After we expand and simplify, I think we can get QR as MP. Okay, um, let's try to expand this expression m equals to 2a plus 1 to the power of 3. I will expand it directly. If you confuse, you can expand it one by one. 2a plus 1, 2a plus 1. Expand it one by one. If I expand it directly, I will get 8a cubed plus mm, 6a plus 12a square plus 1 this is for the first part and then for the second part 2a plus 1 square will become 4a square plus 4a plus 1 so if you expand it we will get negative 12a cubed negative 12a square negative 3a and then expand this to a plus 1 to a plus 1 is this times negative 3. So I will erase a here. And then if you distribute it, we will get negative 12a square, negative 12a, negative 3, and then plus a plus 2. Okay, let's simplify this expression. Um, start from the cubic one. 8 minus 12, I got negative 4 a cube. We already done with this. And then the square part. 12 minus 12 is 0. And then negative 12a square so negative 12a square we already done with this part let's proceed to a 6 minus 3 3a 3a minus 12a i got negative 9a negative 9a plus a negative 8a we are done with this part and then the last part is the constant term 1 negative 3 plus 2 is 0 okay that's it after this if we see the format for m i think we should factorize negative 4 if i factorize negative 4 here i will get a cube plus 3a square plus 2a negative 4a cube negative 12a square negative 8 okay i think that's it so qr is negative 4 and then a cube plus s s is 3 and then t is 2
negative 4, 3, and 2. And then for the last part, when a less than negative 1, we already um, find our second critical value at the right side of 1, and then our second critical value is between negative 1 until 1. So for our last part, I think the critical value is on the left side of negative 1. So for this part, if I draw another number line, this is negative 1, this is 1, and then our second critical value is something here. And then once again, our derivative has positive coefficient of x squared. Since the coefficient of x squared is positive, then the side between our critical values should be negative. Negative, positive, positive. And then focus on this region. We have to remember the question, um, the range of the question, yeah, from negative 1 until 1. So just focus on this region. If you see from this region, the sign is positive, indicating that our function is increasing. Since our function is increasing in this range, then to find the minimum value, just substitute negative 1. So to find the minimum value here, I think, I can substitute x equals negative 1 to f of x. So, if I substitute f, uh, I substitute x as negative 1, I will get, substitute negative 1 here, I get negative 1 to the power of 3, which is negative 1, negative 1 square is 1 times negative 3a, and then minus 3, 2a plus 1 times negative 1, and then plus a plus 2. If we simplify it, I will get negative 1, negative 3a. Negative times negative, it becomes positive, and then I will cancel it. And then distribute 3 to the bracket. We will get plus 6a plus 3 plus a plus 2. And then if we simplify it, we will get 4a, negative 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 4. So u and v here is 4 and 4. Okay, last question is the value of m in 2 is maximized at a equals to blah blah blah. The value of m at 2. We have three values of m at 2. This is the first one, this is the second one, and this is the third one. But since the format is something like this, I can find the value of A, the maximum value of A, by finding the first derivative of this M. So we do not have to waste our time to check which value of M or which part of M is maximized because they already give us the format. Since I already get the format like this, I think this comes from the quadratic formula. So, to find the value of A that will maximize M, we have to find the first derivative of M. Not this one, 
because if you find the first derivative of this one, you will not get a in this format. Also not this one. So I bet the derivative of m, we use, we use the second possibility of m. And then we find the first derivative to find the value of a. Why we should uh, differentiate it? Because we want to find the maximum value of m. So I will use this. And then I find the first derivative to find the maximum value of m. Negative 4, 3a square plus 6a plus 2. If we want to find the maximum value, then the first derivative must be equals to 0. Then 3a square plus 6a plus 2 is equals to 0. We cannot factorize this expression. So to find the value of a, we have to use quadratic formula. Negative b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a. And then if you simplify it, you will obtain 36 minus 24, which is 12, over 6. So a is equals to negative 6 plus minus 2 square root of 3, over 6. Divide all terms by 2, we will get negative 3 plus minus square root of 3 over 3. And then once again, I will not wasting my time to check which sign is correct because they already give us the format like this. So I think 3, 3, and 3 is our final answer. Of course, you can check which value of a plus or minus part that will give us the maximum value of m by using second derivative or number line. But I think um, from this format, yeah, we can directly determine that w, x, and y is 3, 3, and 3. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you for watching this video and see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.